lift off. Go Falcon, go 124. Falcon 9 launches missile detection satellites. USS F-124, a classified payload for the US Missile Defense Agency, was launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket on February 14, 2024. The Rare Daylight mission left Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's Launch Complex 40 at 5.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Aboard were six satellites designed to detect and track faint signal hypersonic missiles, two hypersonic and ballistic tracking space sensor HBTSS, built by Northrop Grumman, were the primary payload, originally set for last year, and specified technical issues delayed the mission. Four SDA, Tranche O warning satellites, constructed by L3 Harris, shared the ride these were not ready for a previous tranche mission launched in 2023. At 38 minutes before launch, RP-1 flowed into both stages, a super-chilled version of kerosene, which allows more fuel to fit inside the Falcon 9. Liquid oxygen, needed for combustion, began to fill simultaneously. 16 minutes before T-0, LOX flowed in the second stage which is always a brand new vehicle. Actions controlled by computers ensured significant milestones were executed on time, including engine chill down and tank pressurization. Nine Merlin engines commenced ignition, lofting the Falcon 9 skyward. Separation occurred 229 seconds later, as the second stage ignited its lone engine. Moments later, the first, B1078, performed a flip maneuver, then a boost back burn. Grid fins and cold gas thrusters aligned the descending stage. Six minutes after launch, three engines ignited for the entry burn. This began to slow down the rocket as it lowered to CCSFS. The landing burn allowed B1078 to gently touch down on the concrete pad at LZ2. Moments later, double sonic boom spread across the local area. The stage made its seventh flight. Previous deliveries include Crew-6, SES, Empower, and four Starlink missions. Due to the classified nature of USS F-124, little post-separation information was made public. SpaceX Starlink Group 714 mission On Thursday, February 15, 2024, SpaceX successfully launched the Starlink Group 714 mission using a Falcon 9 Block 5 booster B1082 from Space Launch Complex 4E at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The mission involved deploying a batch of 22 Starlink V2 mini satellites, which are part of the second-generation high-speed low-Earth orbit internet satellite constellation. Unlike previous Starlink missions Group 79, None of these satellites have direct-to-cell capability. This launch marked the 138th operational Starlink mission, bringing the total number of Starlink satellites launched to 5850, with approximately 5,460 still in orbit around Earth. The booster 1081 was successfully landed for the second time on the drone ship. Intuitive Machines Nova Sea Moon mission begins. SpaceX successfully launched Intuitive Machines' first robotic flight to the moon on February 15, 2024. Liftoff occurred at 1.05 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Under clear skies, the Falcon 9 rose then headed east. B1060 served as the first stage on its 18th flight, powered by RP-1 and liquid oxygen. Nova C required Launch Complex 39A, as it is the only pad equipped to load methane LOX, used to power the lander's engine, close to flight. This By procedure started two and a half hours before launch, and was completed before the countdown timeline service arrived service at American Falcon 9 fueling. An attempt the previous science, night was called off due to methane temperature issues. The landing burn allowed B1060 to gently touch down on the concrete pad as another booster, B1078, stood nearby after its return seven hours before. Moments later, double sonic boom spread across the local area. The separation of Nova C occurred 48 minutes after launch, 
sending the moon lander on a direct lunar trajectory. The spent stage performs adjustments to line it up with entry and burn up over the Pacific Ocean. As part of NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services Initiative, the Nova Sea lander carries devices to study plume surface interactions, radio astronomy, precision landing technologies, and a node for future autonomous navigation. The CLPS model for lunar payloads centers around low-cost methods of moon deliveries balanced with higher success risks. Nova C established communications with ground controllers on schedule. The spacecraft will take approximately eight days to reach the moon, targeting a landing near the lunar south pole on February 22nd. Odysseus has now officially made history with its successful lunar touchdown on February 22nd at 6, 24 p.m. Eastern Time. And none of it could have happened without some fast work from engineers on the ground and a breath-catching save from a NASA payload before descent. Intuitive machines, which developed the Odysseus lunar lander, revealed crucial pieces of the vehicle's navigation equipment were not working. Fortunately, NASA, which considers itself one of many customers on this mission, had an experimental instrument already on board Odysseus that could be swapped in to make up for the malfunctioning equipment. Engineers were able to bypass Odysseus' broken pieces and land using two lasers that are part of NASA's Navigation Doppler LIDAR, or NDL, payload. After some intense waiting, Intuitive Machines, the company behind the Odysseus lunar landing mission, has confirmed the spacecraft is upright and starting to send data.